Well, let's uh, get back to the Nigerian market. We're still trying to find uh, a new levels. Yesterday, the market uh, key index uh, fell uh, below the 29,000 level. It's been a forward, a very nasty trading. Uh, here, investors still trying to look for a catalyst from uh, the market. But the biggest story on that market street Thursday was the reappointment of Godwin Demefele as the center bank chief by President Muhammadu Buhari in a letter that he sent to uh, the Senate yesterday. And you can see there the early numbers, uh, sorry, the numbers for yesterday, a very uh, a decline there for your oil share index, uh, 10.86 uh, trillion. Uh, 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 Naira. So uh, if, if you take that on, you look at in terms of uh, our primary market data, that's a bit consistent with our daily average, with the exception of the deals, which is uh, a little bit much higher than about 3,000, which we have as a daily transaction level. That's very active, 5,646 investors, very active. In narrow volume, 2.05 billion Naira, that's not too significantly different. But if you look at the uh, markets, uh, the five key segments where the market bled, insurance gave the market 1.09%, the market threw that of the window, half a percent from the oil and gas, then you find banking sector taking a big dip, half a percent, and consumer goods uh, a little bit flat, like uh, the industrials, uh, which was uh, finished neuter. The oil and gas was largely uh, unchanged, uh, as it were, on the day. But the uh, big story uh, is from uh, the fixed income market. If you look at the NESD, it's also, also flat. So both on the NSC and the NESD over the counter, quite a very uh, uh, largely uh, negative uh, or flat uh, Thursday there heading into the weekend. But at the fixed income space, you have treasury bills uh, are yield, uh, as we will discuss later on the program, are trying to find uh, some new uh, levels there. So that's, your, that's it there, a bit of a, uh, with those repayments, and the 75.87 billion via the FMDQ OTC Securities Exchange. Uh, let's uh, talk about the week so far, uh, the fixed income space, a bit later. But first, let's go to the big story, which is the Godwin Emefile's reappointment as uh, the head of the central bank by, God, by the president, Muhammadu Buhari, in a letter sent to the Senate on Thursday. Uh, Wally Ulusi is the head of research as United Capital is live to us from uh, studios here, from uh, Nigerian Stock Exchange trading floor. Wale, good morning. Welcome to the program. Okay, thank you. Uh, Wale, if this is uh, one big story on the street, uh, what was your initial reaction to uh, Emefile's reappointment by President Buhari? <laughs> well, clearly, I mean, I think it's right to say congratulations to the, to the governor. I mean, He's the first governor to do that or to get reappointed in the last 20 years. So, I mean, first of all, a congratulations to him. Uh, but broadly, I think the market is in for um, stability. I mean, um, we've seen him in the last five years. Um, we know his policies. Um, we know what his monetary policy stance is. And um, it doesn't look like um, we should be expecting any surprises going forward. Um, I think that in a world full of volatility at the moment, considering what is happening all over the world, Nigeria has opted for, for policy consistency and stability. Yes, Wale, if you look at uh, the last few months, so far this year we've seen not just Nigeria, but at least two other African countries retaining their central bank governor. In January, Rwanda gave a six-year extension to the central bank uh, governor. And of course, uh, over the last few days, Zimbabwe did the same. So you think that uh, uh, countries, uh, not just Nigeria, but as Mr. President, I also think that the, the, this talk about the likely global economic recession ahead, perhaps starting from the U.S. this year, next year, and this one is from the IMF and the World Bank, are coming into play here that the markets and financial system needs a lot of stability. You need to keep men who at least show that they know their job in place. Well, I mean, I can't speak for um, um, what is happening in Zimbabwe or um, these other country, but I think clearly if um, our governor gets a re-election, a reappointment, it simply means that um, the president is happy with what the governor is doing. Um, their policies have aligned, and they think is the right one to lead the economy for another five years, considering what um, the president wants to achieve and the way that the governor has managed the economy over the last five years. 
I think the governor came in during a time where, you know, the economy is struggling with a lot of um, currency crisis. He was able to, you know, find his way around it thanks to the I and E window, which has been able to stabilize the currency market. And again, the reserve has, you know, shown a lot of resilience, over 40 billion so far. So we think the president is happy with what the governor is doing. The market thinks it, you know, signals stability, and I think that's what we should be looking forward going forward. Uh, what, in your view, uh, would you like to see uh, get done uh, by uh, Godwin Emefile's central bank? If you remember, uh, just about four or five new members of the Board of Governors and the MPC uh, were, were nominated and cleared by the Senate. Uh, one person was replaced by, by the Senate. So it looks like the president, Mr. President's men, uh, the, in the MPC and at the Central Bank uh, as, the board of, as members of the, of, of the Board of, of Governors. So what does this tell you about President Buhari's uh, uh, look ahead in terms of how he wants to see fiscal or use the monetary policy to push his uh, socio-economic agenda moving forward for the second term? Well, I think the president is happy with um, the policies of the CBN so far. I think what we are going to be seeing going forward is, you know, the continuation of the support for the real sector from the CBN, the likes of um, the uh, Anchor Borrowers program that has, you know, been supportive to the agri sector, the real um, sector um, support facility that was inaugurated, I think, last year. Um, I think that will continue. Um, the you know, the removal of 41 item plus that we've seen, you know, in the currency market. I think the president is also happy with that, considering the fact that, you know, it will limit our demand for FX. Um, you know, all of these things are what we think the president is looking at. For. But for us, what we think um, we would like to see is a policy stance that will also find a way to support a faster growth in the Nigerian economy because... Over the next five years, four years from now, um, projections are a bit uh, modest for Nigeria, broadly below 3%. So if the CBN can look into how to stimulate a faster growth environment, um, considering what's happening in the fiscal space, we think that will be much more positive for the economy. What about the stock market? Well, I mean, for the stock market, um, I think the reaction is really expected to be neutral. Um, we've seen the CBN governor is going to be there for another five years. Um, we don't think there's going to be, um, I mean, we know that he has been supporting the Naira, and um, there's not going to be a devaluation. If you devalue the Naira now, it simply means Nigerian equity will be cheaper, so that should trigger some more demand. But um, that's not likely to happen in the interim, so... We think the reaction from the market is expected to be calm, and um, they will simply just congratulate the governor for his reappointment. Okay. Uh, Walia Lucy, thank you so much uh, for uh, raising the curtain as it were on this conversation, of course, which already there on social media. A number of folks are trying to set an agenda for Godwin Emefile's second term. Of course, he'll go before the Senate uh, to get his final uh, second and final term reconfirmation. Thank you very much, Wally Lucy, Head of Research at uh, United Capital. Do have a great weekend, and of course, we'll have time to check with you on this development in the days and weeks ahead.